I wish I would have connected whether it was the underclassmen's or my own class. I just wish. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> I don't want to connect with my senior class. That's horrible. Mm. Um. Hey. Hey. My final task of being an ASB member, I have to do a reflection, a your high school journey reflection thing, and I have to answer a few questions, so this is super exciting, I guess, a little bit. The first question on this list, tell us about yourself. Uh, what were you like as a baby, toddler, young child, etc.? What were your interests? And what is a childhood memory that shaped you? What was I like as a child, a young child? I was, I considered myself to be really outdoorsy. Um, I always liked riding my bike. I always liked climbing trees. I just, just, I just like being outdoors because being at home sucks, right? It's really much different than what, you know, the person I am now because I just like being at home sleeping and I don't like going outside too much. My biggest interest as a young child was music. I first started learning how to play piano when I was eight years old. Just watch YouTube tutorials and whatnot and then it kind of grew into me learning how to play piano by ear. I don't know how to read music at all. I just like it. I just like to play piano. I also started singing when High School Musical came out because my mentality, I think it was a lot of people's mentality when they were younger. Oh my gosh, high school's gonna be so fun. We can do all this singing. I'm glad that High School Musical came along because I probably wouldn't even have considered any form of singing. I'm really blessed to have a really profound interest in some things. <laughs> when I was younger, we would Start fires. Um, I remember we started this fire and we couldn't stop it. I don't know, fire was just interesting to me. I started a fire with a magnifying glass once. Boom, fire. That was something to see. Fires are just cool. Like, <laughs> that's so stupid of me. Next question is how you got to where you are now. Explain how you have grown over the past four years and any significant transformations you have made. This should touch on specific experiences that have helped shape you into the young man, woman, you are now. Definitely wrote this in my phone. As a freshman, thinking about it, I was kind of lost. I was just doing things just to do them, and I didn't take anything seriously. Over the years, though, I kind of realized that I want to go to college. I want to, I, I'm going to college, and I want to go to college, because, you know, without it, I don't think I have a plan. So that was my plan. That is my plan. That is the plan I'm accomplishing. Getting good grades, so it would look good on my transcript. I've also matured. I don't know why I say that with reluctance. A sign of my maturity, my personal maturity, that I've learned to put my feelings aside just to finish a task. Because in the real world, you know, you're gonna be working, you're in a job, you can't just be hating on someone all the time because nothing's gonna get done. Putting your feelings aside just to finish your job is something that's gonna benefit you and the other person or people that you're working for. So, and I'm so thankful that I've learned that. Day two of filming take a break big break so yeah what problems did you encounter what problems did you encounter and how did you overcome them problems that I've encountered are mainly unreliable people in the past four years whether it's a group project or just a simple task people can be so unreliable and it hurts my feelings so much but you know it's whatever and depending on the situation how I overcame it. If it's like for your own grade and then like it's not impacting me and it's not impacting other people, I just I just watch them fail. Which is really bad to say, but it's you know the reality of it. If it's gonna impact me or you know other people, then I would find like a resolution for it. Maybe like talk to the person. If not, if they don't pick it up, then you just gotta do it for yourself. For the good of the people, for the greater good. ASB moment, describe a moment or experience in ASB that really impacted you and tell us what you've learned. I don't know what to say anymore. An experience in ASB that really impacted me would have to be my senior year. What I've realized or what I've noticed being in ASB is that from my class, it was mainly like a group of people just put together and then there are some people who got into ASB out of like another person saying 
hey, you should do ASB, you should do ASB. But you know, deep in their heart, there was no interest in being an ASB. And that was on my part as well. And I feel bad for that and I apologize. And I think they know who they are. The lesson to take away from it is to not tell people to do ASB if you know that they don't want to do it. It's going to impact your class, your job, and their interest and work efforts. You don't want that in life. You don't want that at all. But my whole senior year was kind of weird, to be honest. I felt like I kind of did a lot of the work. I tried to like make the work as equal as possible, but I realized things weren't getting done in a good amount of time or it wasn't being done meaningfully. It wasn't done with the correct thinking. Kind of say like, oh my gosh, it's just so annoying, but you're gonna be annoyed if it happens to you. So I wish our efforts would have been on the same level as each other. So equal effort, equal progress. I have no hard feelings for it, but I mean, it's just something that I just don't wish on other people. I'm so tired. It's a Monday. I gotta go to school tomorrow. Graduating. Let me check the calendar real quick. Whoa, dang, I graduate next week. Holy crap, crazy. Back to what I was doing. Future plans, what do you plan to accomplish in the next year, five years, 10 years, and so on? The next year, I wanna be chilling at UW. That's all I know. I don't know if I'm gonna survive. Hopefully I will. I'm pretty sure I will. I mean, I survived the last four years. Yeah, at UW, chilling, doing things, doing big things. That sounds weird. <laughs> So in the next five years, I want to be finished with my undergrad. I don't know if I want to go in the graduate level, but if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. I don't know yet, but I want to get a dog. I think I told Jordan this, that I want to get a husky, and then within the next 10 years, I want to get another dog or maybe more dogs, or maybe cats, I don't know. Get a place to live, of course. Where am I gonna live? Box under the bridge. I don't think this far ahead. I don't like thinking this far ahead because it's kind of scary. The reality is setting in when you ask. A senior this question were there things you wish you would have done or wish you would have done differently what have you learned about yourself I wish I would have gotten involved with school a little bit more I mean the only main thing I did was ASB for like three out of the four years I see all the little underclassmen you know roaming around doing key clubby things doing sporty things and I'm just like whoa that could have been me but it wasn't me then again it was just never in my interest too but I kind of wish I would have what I've learned about myself my patience goes to a certain extent I can deal with a lot of people's like crap I think as senior year is coming to a close I'm starting to become a little more sassy to some people like if they're getting on my nerves something's not going right I'm just gonna get sassy I don't know, I've been holding it in. Slowly being let out as June 10th is coming along, so. Advice, is there anything you wish you have known, wish you would have known in high school that you know now? I wish I would have known that the people you start off in freshman year with, you know, I would have known that they're not gonna be your friends when senior year comes around. Because now we don't even like say anything to each other in the hallways or like we have no reason to talk to each other or we have nothing to talk about with each other. Freshman year, the people who I hung out with, they were pretty dope. My door is moving. I guess I'll share some high school memories with you. Junior year, this is when Olivia started skipping class a lot. Uh, I tried my best not to get involved at school junior year. Well, my memories aren't meant to be shared. I'm, over the weekend, I won prom queen. And this is my only excuse to put it back on again because... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna just go start editing this because this is just too much for me, so. Hello. Starting off with the first button. No, 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 This is so difficult. I like talking about myself. Duh. When do I not pick up your phone calls? 